All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, we're talking about Kony. We're jumping straight on the mic for this one, C-O-N-Y, the Yield Max Coin Option Income Strategy ETF today. What we're gonna be doing, guys, is we are going to be looking at Kony's share price because over the past, even month, Kony has soared from pretty much about $18.20, which is pretty much its low, all the way up to its current high of about 24 dollars now what we're going to do in this video is we are going to take coney's entry price at certain price points certain price points that i thought were pretty relevant over the history of coney's stock existence etf existence and we are going to check the price appreciation to the current price point we're also going to check the current price points adjusted with the dividends priced in and i'm going to take you through the total returns what we'll also do Check Coinbase quickly so you guys are all up to date with that. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about Bitcoin and the trends that I see for the future of Co Coiny and also Coinbase. So if that sounds good, please do remember to subscribe. We're up to 3,380 subscribers, 20 subscribers away from that big marker. I'm not going to say it, not going to jinx it. Our last video got 700 views. Thank you to Mr. Um, I don't need. I don't even know Mr. Yellow Suit for holding the phone on clip 50% dividend. I estimated that. Go check it after if you want. It's totally your decision, but today we're talking about coiny. So let's just run through it here. So what I want to do is take you through the highest price. So if you were to have bought coiny in the past couple days, let's say November 7th, $22.65. I have it written here as Coney's entry price. If you were to have bought it there, you would actually still be receiving the dividend because that X dividend was on November 8th and you would have bought on, let's say, November 7th. So you're still receiving that dividend. That would have been an entry price, $22.65, total price appreciation, $1.37. That equals out to about 5.7%. But with the dividends, you would have received the first dividend, or sorry, the very last dividend, not the first dividend, this $1.08 dividend. And so you would have been up a total of 10%. So if you were to have bought Coney, Two weeks ago, you'd already be up 10% on your investment, and it only gets better from here. If you were to have bought back when Kony was trading about this market right here in September, about $21.34 right here, you could see the price appreciation about $2.68, a total appreciation about 11%, and with the dividends, you're looking at a total appreciation of about 20, 21%, which is pretty good. Yet again, only gets better from here. If you were to have bought Kony when it was kind of down and out, let's say you bought it about September 26, something like that. Kony actually didn't release a dividend until October. So you could have waited to buy until October 6, which was the X dividend date. So you could have bought about this marker here, bought the stock for about $19.68. Your total appreciation on that would be about $4.34 or $6.62 if you include the dividends to a total return of about 27.6% here. So as you can see, if you were to have bought Kony pretty much at any single time, your dividends and your price appreciation would have pretty much put you in the positive. It could only pretty much put you in the positive just due to the fact that coney has been going up even over the past five days. It is at a current all-time high and it's trending in the direction of continuing all-time highs. Now for the last and final price appreciation point, we're gonna check $18.45. That would have been if you bought back way back here on August 18 when Coney kind of was first introduced. It had a steep downtrend, but then kind of stayed flat and then recovered. That was $18.45. $18 Total price appreciation with the dividends worked out to about $7.85. Your biggest return looking at 32.7%. So that was about as good as it has gotten for Kony, which is pretty good. 30% in about two months or so. Pardon me. Just clicking back here. 32% in two months. And Kony has been trending up and continuing to trend up why do we see this and especially over the past month it's due to the fact that coinbase the underlying stock has trended so well now coinbase for the max performance has trended pretty poorly let's be real from 2021 when it was first announced kind of coming into a recession ish period you can see that it dropped pretty much straight down all the way until june 2022 where it kind of found a medium or let's say like kind of a flat line now, it has had similar rallies in the past going from about $54 to $105. But you can see here it traded flat roughly about $75. It was trading trading flat 
Coiny was also trading flat during this time period. This was about August to September, October. And now you could see Coinbase has taken off in later October and early November, leading to a great month in November for Coiny. Now, if you are an investor and wondering where you think Coinbase, the underlying stock, might go in the future, I personally think it is going to continue the uptrend. Now, the really good thing about Coiny is looking here, you could see they had a price marker about $105. We're currently at $109. So we pretty much broke through that barrier. And looking back to like previous price charts, going to the one year price chart, or sorry, the five year, you could see that it hasn't really hit a price point until about $189. And so that means basically like, since it had such a steep sell-off, there wasn't too many price points in between the $185 and the current price point of about $109 where there was a lot of buying or selling pressure. And so there could be a lot of room for Coinbase to run up. And this could then lead to a big run up in Coiny as well. One thing to keep in mind is Yieldmax's synthetic covered call strategy. And so it does limit the potential upside if Coinbase was to jump 30%, for example, Coiny might only jump about 15%. That's something to keep in mind. Just kind of my overall thoughts. I do think Coinbase will be growing in the future. I, I'm not sure if it's going to return to its previous valuations closer to probably about the $100 billion marker. I'm not sure. It totally depends on how crypto and everything is accepted in the years to come. Now, one thing I would say is Bitcoin does kind of. I would say it plays a little bit of a factor in Coinbase just due to the fact that Bitcoin can provide a lot of hype. And one thing bullish as well for Bitcoin is it's reaching kind of a, a high in the past six months or so, and it's repeatedly tested a high. This means that people are buying Bitcoin and although they they keep rejecting at this price, there is a potential to break through that price and lead to another kind of surge in Bitcoin. As you can see over the past year, it's been recovering and that could potentially lead a surge to a surge in Coinbase just due to the fact that Bitcoin, when it surges, it brings upon it a lot of popularity and a lot of new eyes, which then turn to institutions like Coinbase to then trade it. So. With all that being said, this was just a little video on Coiny. Why I think I would put a bullish sign on it for the future. Obviously, don't quote me on that. This is not financial advice, but this is just a guy on YouTube sharing his opinion. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys like the total returns of Coiny. And if you guys want any other stock, I could do it as well for any yield max one. It's not just Tesla that we follow, but we can follow other ones too. So with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please do remember to subscribe. I hope you guys have a great Thursday or Friday or Saturday whenever you watch this. And I hope you guys do take care. So I will see you guys in the next one.